Hey guys, I have so much stuff I want to talk about, so let's just get right into the video. I will be making a um, video later with more detailed theories based off the information we get in this trailer, or got in this trailer I should say. But for now, I'm just going to be going over the things I noticed in it and the things that I think will be incorporated in book 4. Also, um, after the trailer breakdown stuff, I want to let you guys know about some really important stuff regarding Infinity Train as a series and its future, and I'll break down that stuff in a little bit, so that's really important. Make sure you guys stay to the end to hear that, and um, anyways, let's begin. First off, it seems clear to me that we are probably going to spend the whole first episode, or at least most of it, in the real world. Um, and I think this because we see so many scenes and dialogue um, take place off the train and I feel like to properly set up the story without rushing it that we will probably spend a majority of the first episode, if not all of it, in the real world. Second of all, I definitely feel like um, we get some hints about our main characters, Billy and Ryan. It seems um, like they used to be best friends, but something came between them, and now they have to mend their relationship. I'm extremely confident that whatever happened to their friendship is based in their idea of traveling around the country and playing music, as they wouldn't just include that information for no reason. The conflict will probably be one of them deciding to quit music or something along those lines, which would ruin both of their dreams and then in turn ruin their relationship. Also quickly on the side, I am going to assume that the scene, um, I mean, also really quickly I'm going to assume that the score for book 4 is going to be the best in the series and I think this because it seems like our main characters are musically inclined so they're definitely going to amp up the music quality and the music in the trailer was some of the best stuff we got. Um, in the whole series, so I'm definitely looking forward to the score for book four. Um, continuing with Billy and Ryan, I personally think one of them is going to almost die, and we kind of get a hint at this when I believe it's Billy says to Ryan that he won't leave him or something along those lines. But yeah, um, that's my prediction on that. But at this point in the trailer, we also see that there is only one exit door which could mean that Billy gets his exit, but Ryan doesn't. And he, Billy says to Ryan that he won't leave the train without him. And then I also think maybe because um, this scene where we see Billy looking at a picture of him and Ryan as kids, that Billy somehow forced to leave the train and has to leave Ryan behind. And it might be a really impactful scene in the um, latter half of book four. Um, so I don't know, but we'll see that um, if that plays out, I feel like it might. Um, anyways, a huge point in this trailer, and I know some of y'all were waiting for me to talk about this, is the fact that Billy and Ryan are wearing the same outfit um, that Emilia was wearing in book 3. And um, there are a few things this could mean, but I personally think that it means they were selected to be administrators, um, like Emilia was, by 1-1. One -one. And something happened as to where um, they weren't explained um, or it wasn't explained to them that they're administrators and um, so one one might have to like track them down and explain it to them or something um, so um, I definitely think they're administrators though because of the garb that they're wearing but we'll have to wait and see um, and then because of them being administrators I'm pretty sure that we'll see one one at some point and t talking about one one we see um, a shot of the steward seemingly chasing someone, and so we know 1-1 rides in the steward, um, which at least guarantees his appearance in Book 4. Hmm, I wonder who called that in their last Infinity Train Book 4 Theories video. <laughs> Anyways, I think 1-1 is chasing Billy and Ryan in this scene to explain to them that they are administrators who were chosen just like Amelia, and I don't think 1-1 or the steward is supposed to be a villain or a threat in this book. You know who did look like a villain though? That bug sheriff guy? Hmm, I wonder who also said that there would be a new villain introduced in book 4. Okay, last time I bring up something that I called right. Uh, maybe. 
Anyways, this Bug Sheriff guy looks like he will be the main antagonist for at least one of the episodes. And I personally don't think that there will be a main antagonist throughout the 10 episodes as that role will be filled by whatever personal struggle there is between Billy and Ryan. But who knows, maybe that Bug Sheriff will be present in more than just one episode but I guess we'll have to find out. I also wanted to talk about the new denizen who will be accompanying Billy and Ryan. I think we all knew that it would be a girl um, for gender balancing, something that I also called right by the way. <laughs> but I am interested to see how she will help Billy and Ryan navigate the train. Obviously she's going to play a big role, um, but I don't think they really gave too many hints as to what role that will be. Um, some thoughts regarding Hazel and Amelia, I think it's safe to say they won't play a major role in this book as the main focus is definitely going to be on Billy and Ryan's relationship. Um, so why would Owen Dennis not finish up a storyline he had set up in the previous book? I'll touch up on that at the end of this video. Um, finally, I wanted to take a look um, uh, at book 3's trailer and compare it to this um, trailer. If you recall in book 3, um, in the trailer we barely got any scenes from the last 5 episodes and it really threw off a lot of theories um, because we only pretty much got, uh, there were a few scenes but a majority of the scenes in the trailer were from the first 5 episodes and that could definitely be the case in book 4's trailer as well and we might be getting only half of the story in the trailer which would leave room for Amelia and Hazel to make a somewhat significant appearance in the latter half of book 4, but I seriously doubt that's where this season is heading. Let me close with some thoughts overall on the future of Infinity Train. First off, some bad news, but I'll get to some good news after it. The bad news is that Infinity Train um, will end with Book 4. It was confirmed by multiple primary sources and it is clear that this is the last season of Infinity Train. I could already tell that this was probably the case even before I heard the announcement as Book 4 appears to focus on a completely different cast of characters and it seems like it won't wrap up Hazel and Amelia's story arcs. Um, I'm extremely sad to see one of my favorite shows of all time come to an end so soon after it showed potentially to be one of the best animated series of all time. But unfortunately, it seems like this is really the end of Infinity Train. I've made and had countless memories watching this show and growing with its characters and I sincerely thank Owen Dennis and the crew for the masterpiece they gave us with this show. But like I said, I will end with some good news. I think that the reason um, they gave um, us this for book 4 and not um, following suit with the other seasons by finishing Amelia and Hazel's story arc is because um, this was not intended to be the fourth book. I don't think Billy and Ryan's storyline was intended to be book 4 and that is why it feels so disconnected from all the other ones. Um, I personally believe that this story was supposed to be told in a later season, but once Owen found out that this was going to be the last um, book, he moved the story up to make sure that it got produced. If Owen and the crew deliberately broke off what seemed to be the clear choice for the next book with Hazel and Amelia and instead chose to make it about this story with Billy and Ryan and make this their last season, then I think that they think that this is the best story that they had and they wanted to make sure we got to see it before Infinity Train ends. So I have good reason to believe that this last season of Infinity Train is at least in the minds of its creators, the best season of the show that they had planned, which gets me really pumped for April 15th. I mean, seriously, I don't see any other good reason for why they would just abandon um, the Hazel and Amelia storyline. The only reason that makes sense to me is that this season was um, further down the road, but it was also a must have, and they decided to push up its production to make sure that we got it. So I'm extremely hopeful that this last season will be the best and um, send Infinity Train off um, with a perfect finale. 
Let me know if uh, there's anything I missed in my breakdown and some of your own theories in the comments below. If you love Infinity Train content, then you'll definitely want to subscribe as I will be making more of it in the near future, starting with a more detailed, um, or, yeah, more detailed theories video now that we actually have a trailer. Also, let me know in the comments if I should do a reaction to book four um, and if that's something y'all would want to see. Um, thank you for watching my video and I'd really appreciate it if you left a like and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day.